Welcome back to another quick video on RK Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to wire up all this junk here to bench test, bench flash, whatever um, factory VX to VY NA ECUs, as they're all flash based. So, went on to PCM hacking, got this sheet here printed out, which I'll put up on the screen. Um, I might save this so if anyone wants a copy of this they can contact me and I'll send it to them. So basically started off with a full loom. Uh, these are for reference, the issues that these are Arbor 1, Sap, Arbor 10 and brown coloured. So I'll show on this camera as well. The blue and pink ones are the Memcal based ones and will not work for this as they have a memcal or a chip as people call it in the olden days. So basically I got these three plugs here out of there, D-pinned everything I didn't need. From what I have found out though, you don't need to connect these two up as they're just grounds, everything's run off here. I also cut out the, as people call it, OBD2 port too. And then you will need a ALDL to USB diagnostic cable, uh, PCM hacking cell their own there. I got this one from MVS Customs. I think it cost about 80 bucks, came uh, or 90 bucks or whatever, delivered and came with heaps of software as well to use it. Um, yeah, so basically on the sheet here, which I'm going to use to reference it tells you exactly what you need to cut out and whatnot. So it tells you that all the ground wires that will go to the battery um, negative or ground terminal or if you use a 12 volt power supply to the ground on that. You need A and B5, E and F7, C and D6. So I just labeled the plug so I know. So basically on A and B, pin five, you just wanna grab the grounds, um, E and F, here, you need to grab the ground, but like I said, this isn't actually needed, which I'm going to test on camera. Um, and then C and D is where all the magic happens. So there's a few things here that you need to do. So there is um, two battery. So there's two wires here that you always have power direct to the battery, or if there's a car, if there's a relay in the car that sends it differently. I'm not sure, but in this case you want to wire these direct to the battery or the 12 volt source. So you want C12 and D12, which is what I grabbed here, which are these two thicker orange wires here. And then you have an ignition switch, um, which you can wire straight to the battery as well, or the 12 volt source to make it to work. Otherwise, um, you can wire in a little switch so you untwist and twist wires together to act like the keys turning on and off to do a, a soft reset on the ECU after you flashed in, which is handy. I've just got these butt connectors here, which I just wired it in so I can manually pull it in and out when I'm jumping in and out of cars doing it or whatnot. Um, then the last wire that is needed is on C and 13, which is this little red and black wire here. This one goes to the ALDL or OBD2 connector that basically sends the data backwards and forwards between the two. So that is all that's needed on the ECU side. This OBD2 plug, you have a solid orange wire which, um, don't you have it written down on on here, but pin five and six, which are black and yellow and straight black, they go to the battery negative. But then you've got the orange here on uh, pin 16. This one here is the positive that goes to there, so you send that to the um, to the battery. I'm not sure if that one's needed. There was another forum I was on, um, forum post I was on, which you're looking at it, which said it was needed. But that's all. And then to pin nine, so this uh, red C13 cable here that I was on about goes to pin nine, which is also red and black on the ALD or connector. That's all connected, that's all done. Um, 
to get it powered up I've just for the meantime and because it's easy just used an RC car battery this is a 3S LiPo battery which runs at about 11.1 volts um, but usually it's about 11.4 11.8 when it's fully charged this works to fine it's easy you can just I just put those connectors there that went on to here got the plug let's plug it in ECU turns on happy days so I'll plug that in get the ECU I'll uh, get the laptop back up and then I'll show you guys it all connecting and whatnot all right so you get the ECU I'm gonna plug them in I'm just gonna try it with just this main one in so that's plugged in run it back there got my power source plugged in there uh, sorry you want to plug this into the computer first apparently probably like if you don't do it that way plug this in All right, and we'll go over to the laptop All right. hopefully now it works so Open up OSC flash tool, preferences, you're going to go flash PCM on the bench, not PCM in vehicle because we're on the bench. So, quick that, that, that. Now, sometimes it will come up with an error. You just keep clicking, there you go. Now it's searching, there we go, it's found VX, ra ra ra. Um, so, you want to get the BIM. So, now it is a sucking out the tune from the ECU, so. All right, there we go, so. It sucked out a factory bin. Then you can open up Tuna Pro. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna open. And you go file, open bin, and that's where it will be. And then here you have all the parameters. Close up. So you can see there, and to turn those vats off, I believe, is under flags. Uh, there we go. Theft deterrent. If you click it to set, it means it's turned off. It's like that. That's all happy days. Um, yeah, you can save. You can so you can adjust everything, save it. All right, adding this bit in after. I'm just going to show you guys flashing it in. Um, I'm just going to make a quick change, so go to fuel cut, high RPM, we'll say in the uh, in park I only want it to rev to say 3500 RPM, we'll start the cut at 3475, that's saved, <clears throat> I don't know if the GoPro will pick that up. It's a bit of shit. <clears throat> anyway, we'll save that. Save bin, thermo modded, and uh, park limiter. Always save your new tune. Don't save that file, write a new one. So you can always go back to before. So now it should work mint. So connect to ECM. There we go. It's connected. Right cow. That. Park neutral, there we go, and it's riding. So we'll just let it sit there, do its thing. Takes about 40 seconds. Um, yeah, not time lapsing it. Sorry, guys, this bit might be a bit boring, but also another thing I can do is if you guys want anything modded, you can send me an inbox, send me your bin files and whatnot and then I can mod them to what you want and send them back to you and you guys can flash them in um, as like a remote tune type situation a lot of companies do um, or simple things like if you need no vats or whatnot same thing I can do that for you guys if you can't figure it out yourselves um, look there we go so that tune was all written successfully into the ECU once again a power source a A D A L D L connector, a little ignition switch, and then the plugs. 
So yeah, we'll jump back to the other video where I exit out and we'll finish it with yeah, that. Yeah, just a little quick video, that's how you bench wire up this. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll try and answer. And if you need a more in-depth video, I'll try to get another factory loom and I'll video the whole process of depinning and what wires to use and whatnot. But yeah, uh, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.